Hey everyone, this is the AR4. This is the latest version of my six axis robot project. This is a desktop size six axis robot that anybody can make. Um, when I set out to design this robot, my goal was to create the lowest cost robot possible, uh, but I also wanted it to be, you know, capable of doing actual tasks and I wanted to make software for it that, you know, made it easy to use and easy to program. Uh, the, the robot can be fully 3D printed or it can be made from aluminum using just uh, 3D printed uh, arm covers. The bill of materials, the manual, all the software, as well as all the 3D print files are all free. And I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, I've gone through the manual and just put a ton of time into uh, documenting, you know, every step of the assembly, all the uh, electrical wiring, um, you know, wiring the enclosure with all the drivers and everything to make this uh you know, robot as easy to build for everybody as possible. This is the uh, latest software for the robot. This, uh, I've added a number of things. Uh, the robot can now be moved not only in percentage, but also in seconds or millimeters per second. Um, we've got the, a lot of the same moves, but I've added uh, a rotation move, moving in the joint, uh, rotation of joints. We've got arc moves, uh, circle moves, a number of other functions for controlling inputs and outputs on devices and wait times and such. Um, I have added sliders for um, jogging the joints, and uh, we can also now jog the robot um, in analog mode. So it'll it'll jog as long as you press and hold the button. And then we've still got incremental mode like before, where you can uh, jog the robot in uh, increments um, to teach the uh, uh, to to uh, program the robot. You would simply choose a, a move type and hit teach position. And then I could jog joint one, for example, and teach a new position and then jog, let's say we go down in the Z direction and uh, teach that position and I'll take it out of incremental mode. We can jog forward in the X direction, teach that position. And now I can hit play and play back through all of the positions that we just taught there. The biggest aspect of the upgrade from the AR3 to the AR4 is that we're now using this TNC 4.1 board. This board has a 600 megahertz processor, and I've rewritten all the software to move the kinematics and position control over to the TNC board rather than the PC program. And what this does is it allows for much uh, faster processing of movements. So the movements are uh, of circles, arcs, lines are all much smoother and faster. And it also allows for added functionality, for example, the real time jogging and uh, it allowed the robot to be controlled from other software such as RoboDK or you could write your own software to send simple serial commands to control the robot. I've also worked with Stepper Online to have them now provide a complete motors package with the uh, encoders already attached. This uh, brings the cost down quite a bit and it greatly simplifies the assembly and wiring of the robot. We're now using um, low-cost keystone jacks that fit into the uh, 3D print enclosure We've also got continuous flux CAT6 cable for all the encoders and limit switches, as well as a terminal block, um, which just makes the uh, wiring a lot simpler and more streamlined. The robot still has the same auto calibration procedure where it will drive to each of the axis limits and then drive on to each limit switch and calibrate the robot and come back to a perfect zero for each axis. Um, if you find that you have variation in one of your limit switches, uh, we now have a procedure for fine-tuning the calibration. For example, if you put a digital level on axis 3, for example, and find it's off by 0.3, you can go into the uh, software on the calibration tab and put in minus 0.3 and then just click uh, calibrate single axis for joint 3, and you can see it'll recalibrate that joint, and then that fine-tuning value has brought it right back to a perfect zero again. I've been working with RoboDK to create a uh, driver and post processor so that the uh, RoboDK software can control the AR4 robot. Um, you can see that here is up and running, and I think that driver and, and processor will probably be done and ready for release here in a few weeks. You can also uh, control the robot just by sending it simple serial commands. You know, you could write your own software or, or use any software right here. I've got a... Uh, just a free program called Cool Terminal, and I can uh, I can just paste in uh, commands to the robot. For example, here's a command just to do a joint move, and then I could, uh, I could paste in a command to do a circle move.
then I'll paste in a move to uh, do a uh, move in the Z direction. And if you go to the uh, config setting tab here, I have a um, last command sent to controller window. So um, you can use that for reference. For example, if we were to do a, a, a joint move of the robot and then go to the uh, last command sent, you can see it gives you the string that was sent. So it gives you something to work with here. So you can uh, use these for examples on building your own command lines to send to the robot. The AR4 software also has uh, controls for a seventh axis travel track. Um, you can set the track up for any length that you want. And uh, you can configure, you know, on the calibration tab, you can configure how long you want your track and, and get it calibrated. You could also use the seventh axis to control the turntable or pretty much anything you want. Um, but as you can see here, I've just got it set up to control a, uh, a horizontal track on the table here. And uh, I've got plans, uh, you know, kind of a how-to manual for building this track that you see uh, on the website as well. If you've already built the AR3 robot, it's not a big deal to upgrade to the AR4. Um, all the structural components and hardware components are all the same. The uh, motors and motor gear ratios are all the same. The uh, encoders you have for the AR3 will work fine for the AR4. Um, the wiring to the Teensy board pretty much stays the same. The uh, 3.5 board will run the new software. It's just not quite as fast and smooth as the 4.1, but the wiring's the same, so you can pretty easily swap in a 4.1 board and uh, still use the uh, AR4 architecture. I have an updated kit available to build the robot. This kit includes all of the aluminum components. Um, it includes all of the hardware. This is the belts, the pulleys, the rods, pins, and all the fasteners uh, needed. It has um, all the primary electrical components. This is all the Cat6 cable, all of the wire, the silicone continuous flex wire, sheathing, um, all of the uh, connectors, the limit switches, um, keystone jacks, as well as a, a TNC 4.1 board and a, a TNC 4.1 terminal breakout board. I've worked with Stepper Online to have them provide a, a complete motors package that has all six motors has um, all of the drives and the power supply. This uh, helps keep the cost of the uh, project as low as possible, having this as a, a factory direct option. And I'll have a link to this in the description as well as um, on the webpage. And lastly, you'll need a 3D printer to print all your covers and spacers. And then there's also some items in the miscellaneous components section of the manual. And you'll need to decide what type of panel or electrical enclosure suits your needs and what type of gripper you want to put on your robot. If you have any questions on the project, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll have my email address in the description and it's on the uh, webpage. Uh, thanks for watching.